Let's be honest, gaming on Mac is fun, but when games start to have bad performance and lag, the fun goes down. So today, I will be presenting you with 10 tips to boost the gaming performance on your Mac. So with that, let's get started. So starting us off, I suggest you check out Disk Inventory X. Here is a free app that I've been using for ages. It helps to keep your Mac in speedy shape by giving you a summary of your disk usage, both in text and visually. If you need to know how much space is being taken up on your hard drives, Disk Inventory X will give you the answer quickly. Please note, it takes some time for the program to analyze your computer, so just be patient. And just so you know, for this example, I made a 500 gigabyte movie file. Don't try this at home. Next, you should check out Memory Clean. Memory Clean is the ultimate app for optimizing your Mac's memory, and is great for boosting gaming performance. This app works by purging the Mac's inactive memory, and is best used when you close an intensive app, for example, video editing software. Please note, during the cleaning process, older Macs may slow down until the cleaning process is complete. Now it's time to get technical by disabling OSX features. There are two native OSX features that most people never use, which are Dashboard and Notification Center. The problem with these is that they take up processing power and RAM that could otherwise be used towards gaming. Luckily, you can disable both of them using Terminal. Please note, I really, really do stress this. Only attempt this if you are confident with Mac computers and using Terminal. All right, let's start off with Notification Center. Open Terminal. And enter the following two commands. Please note, I've included all commands in the video description to copy and paste into Terminal yourself. After doing this, you will no longer receive alerts, banners, and notifications for any apps in your Notification Center. Now, to get Notification Center back on your Mac, open Terminal and enter the following command. Then, go open Finder and press the keys Shift Command G, all at the same time. This will open up a window. Now, enter the following command. Once you press enter, you'll be taken to a folder where you must now find Notification Center and click on it. Please note, you may need to restart your Mac in order for Notification Center to come back. Now let's disable Dashboard through Terminal by using the following command, which is once again in the description. Please note, your dock will disappear for a bit and your dashboard will now be gone. And to bring dashboard back, enter this command. It's time to configure your game settings. Each game you play has graphic settings that you can customize to add or remove details. Usually you'll find these settings in the game menu under graphics or video. I suggest you play around and choose which graphic settings are worth disabling or keeping. So next, you should try playing games as a windowed mode versus full screen mode. It might sound stupid, but believe it or not, playing in different view modes can actually affect gameplay. I suggest trying out both options to see which one works best for you. And you can usually find view modes in graphic or video settings. Moving down on my list, I suggest you close applications and menu bar apps. If you leave apps open, this can cause your Mac to run significantly slower. So before you start playing games, make sure to quit apps in your dock. 
Also, make sure to close or quit menu bar apps, which are always running in the background. Okay, so moving on, it's time to stop apps from opening automatically when you log in. Every time you log into your Mac, a handful of apps open automatically using resources before you even do anything. To stop apps from auto-starting, go to System Preferences, Users and Groups, and then click on Login Items. Select an app or all of them and hit the minus sign underneath. Next, you should keep an eye on performance with Activity Monitor. Activity Monitor is built into OS X and gives you a complete picture of what processes and applications are using the most memory, CPU and disk resources. It's a great way to see if there's some application open behind your games that's slowing everything down. Now you could always play Windows games on your Mac. Why not try installing Windows on your Mac to play all the games that are unavailable on OS X? Some people even say they get better game performance while running Windows rather than playing games on OS X. You can install Windows through Boot Camp, which comes on every Mac. Just buy a Windows install disk and Boot Camp will install Windows alongside OS X. It's really easy to do and I highly suggest this if you're looking for games that are not on Mac OS X. And last, it's important to make sure your software is up to date. Alright, I know this is kind of obvious to some, but it's very important to check the App Store and Steam for game updates, as this can often be the reason for games not working properly. Check that automatic updates are turned on in System Preferences. And there we have it. 10 ways to optimize your game performance on Mac. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these tips and if you have any other ideas for improving your gaming performance on Mac. And as always, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos only about Apple Gaming.